earlier, what was one of the most important things that you need to have this make this successful? Recon. 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 That's right. Recon. Um, now, recon information is super, super important. A couple things that we're looking for your, from your recon. Big thing. A location. Got to know where the heck the enemy is, correct? That's the first step. Where are they? All right, so location. Where troops are located. What type of terrain? What's the terrain like? Is it open? Does it have dense visitation? Does it got those damn black lotus trees that they have here in Missouri I've never seen before? If you don't know what those are, those big long thorn vine tree devil things. <laughs> All right, see if they got that. <laughs> Key positions. Key positions. All right. You need to know your key positions, where your bunkers are located. If they have crew served weapons, where they are at. You don't want to pick a spot and then charge them headlong into some automatic fire, right? Probably not a good day for us. Next, forward obstacles. Forward obstacles. What are forward obstacles, somebody? Barriers. 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 Wire. wire. Say again. Traps. Wire. Traps. Tanglefoot. Tanglefoot. Mines. All right. We kind of need to know that. You want to go just ditty bopping anywhere and stepping on mines, right? <clears throat> Next is their resources. Resources. I.e., do they have, are they just using small arms? All right. If you could tell if everybody's got automatic weapons. I know the Marine Corps are all riflemen's right now. All right. You need to know that, right? You want to know that. So you know what you're going up against. Morale. Morale of the enemy. Are they relaxed? Are they diddy bopping around? Nonchalantly just chilling. Ain't had nobody coming around lately, you know? Undisciplined. Or are they on edge? Are they, do they look well trained and disciplined? All right. Are they sleeping during their times of watch? Are they smoking and choking all the time? They use a good light discipline. And another important factor is their reserve force. Do they have one? How large is it? If you attack, are you going to, you know, we're going to talk later about always preparing for a counterattack. But if they have a small, long, large force in the rear somewhere else, it can reinforce them. So it was recons, was location, terrain, key positions, forward obstacles, resources, morale, and their reserve force. All right. Now, recon team needs to gather this information to figure out their vulnerabilities. Again, if you have error assets, use them. Drones, all right, high up planes, taking pictures. They got all kinds of fancy gizmos nowadays on the battlefield, all right? Talk about the raid, if you were here for raid. All right, so your security. Your security is going to be your smallest unit, all right? It's gonna be lightly armed change your vanguard. All right, so they're small. This team is small. It has a task. All right. But while y'all are moving, it's going to have your, your flank security so you don't get seen. All right. Next, support. Support team. Now this is your about medium sized. It's got your crew served weapons, i.e. machine guns, mortars, and rocket men. And last but definitely not least, for the delivered attack will be your assault team. Now this team is going to be the largest, and there's several reasons why. Alright? First thing you gotta remember on this team though is that they're light armed so that they can move fast. Alright, lightly armed so they can move fast. 
You're not gonna be lug wanting to lug around heavy ass machine guns in the assault team. Now, not to say that you won't have like squad automatic weapons, all right? Or the new variant that they have. All right, you don't wanna be lugging around 240s and stuff through there. That's what their support team's for. They need to be light and fast. Light and fast. For delivered attack, the assault team is going to include your breach team. Your breach team. Earlier we talked about in uh, Saving Private Ryan, their breach team had explosives and all. All right. You may have that too if you have the explosive capabilities. All right. If you have the manpower, you also want to have a pain attack team. Anybody know what the pain attack would be used for? Distraction. Distraction, that's right. All right. So that the enemy thinks you're attacking over here, you know, get them shooting over here, getting all their their manpower looking in one way, and then what do you want to do? Coming from a force. different direction, correct? You want to confuse the enemy so they don't actually know where the attack is coming from. All right? That's a toss-up, though. It depends on your strength and manpower. All right? But it's definitely something that we can use for our advantage. So again, so your security is your smallest. All right. Got your your uh, recon, your vanguards, your supports, crew serve. All right, and then of course your assault has your breach team, your feint attack, and your actual attack force. All right. Questions, comments? No. All right. So we told you what the teams were. Let's talk about a little bit about how they are actually going to get from point A to point B in the order of movement, all right? So your security team is in the front of your formation, all right? We talked about earlier, this is gonna make up your flank security. Having some vanguards out so you're not just getting, you want that element of surprise, right? Don't want that, you wanna to try to sneak up on them. All right, now the support team, then the attack team. So you're gonna have your security first, as it wrote on the board, then your support, then your attack. Now, in your support team, you can have your security. All right. And out on the side, you'll have your vanguards. Flank security. You have your support. All right. Now, for your assault team, in the order of movement, you can have your breach team. your attack team and then if you have it your feign attack team sorry about my handwriting now the feign attack does carry up the rear if you have it all right if you have it they're going to come up the rear now, we talked about earlier, if you have recon troops on the ground, all right, they should already be ahead of your element. So they can get eyes on that target, and they're giving you, they're taking in that, that intel. About intel, you know it always changes, right? You change on a dime. All right, so, don't want to necessarily use the intel that you had a damn week ago, a couple days, it changes, it can change hourly, hourly. All right, so you want to have your recon teams out there, hopefully with eyes on the target. All right, eyes on the target. Um, that way the recon can pass on any new info and guide them elements to the most vulnerable spots in the enemy defense. All right, that's why we said you need intel. You need intel so you're not just going aimlessly at this defense and trying, you don't know where to punch through, right? Again, like we said earlier, why am I? Why do we want to take our guys, hey, diddy, diddy, right up the middle? All right, hey, diddy, diddy, right up the middle kind of thing. If there's machine guns, that's right in the middle, right? They're going to build their defense with overlapping fields of fires and things of that nature too, right? That's how we would do it. <clears throat> you have to expect them to know how to play this game. All right. Now, 
The patrol leader uses the commander's intent to develop the attack plan, and the principle of MET-TC are considered an influence plan scheme and fire maneuver. Somebody, if anybody does, tell me what MET-TC is, one at a time. So, mission, M, so if y'all wanna write this down, MET-TC, for those who've never heard of it before, it's M, E, T, T, dash tc all right he said the first one mission what's the e stand for Central. enemy enemy that's right damn it first t terrain terrain oh. terrain and weather second t time. Time. time time what time next t a whole lot of t's troops troops, troops available and c civilians Civilian considerations on the battlefield. That is your Met TC. Mission, enemy, terrain, time, troops, and civilians on the battlefield. All right, during the planning phase, the patrol leader is going to have to take in a lot of considerations. There's going to be some control measures that he needs to impl implement to ensure that there's not friendly fire incidents or blue on blue, right? Bachelor side, yeah. So it's hard for me to say, all right? Blue on blue, all right? They need to know on locations for their uh, assembly area, the A8, mm -hmm. all right? Or their, limit, their line of departure, all right? Their LD. They need to know the axis of advance, any phase lines where your assault position is, you need to know where the objective is, finally where their limit of advance is. Alright, the PL also needs to do fire control measures, such as engagement areas and any target reference points, directions of fire and the restrictive fire lines, and finally any rules of engagement. We got some leaders out here that's been learning these steps, correct? Right. All right, start sounding where they're putting that together. Now, we talked about all the planning. Let's actually start talking about what we actually do to do this, right? It's what we want to do today. It's what we're going to learn today. We're going to walk through it, and then we're going to actually uh, have a mission today to do a deliberate attack on an enemy that's out there defending. All right. So. Talk about what the squad and platoon force moves first from their assembly area. 